All right, here I'm speaking with Monty Barrett. Monty's one of the top heavyweights in the world. Monty, I got three questions to ask about your training. Hopefully, you can help some people out with it, okay? All right, um, first of all, what do you think you'd be doing if you never boxed, man? What would I be doing? I'm probably, if I started boxing, I had my own business, so I probably would still be involved in construction business, you know, you know, I had a security service, so that's what I would be doing. All right, um, regarding your training now, what do you typically eat the day before and the day of your fight? Well, what gives you the most strength? Basically, the day before the fight, I eat um, uh, spaghetti marinara without, you know, you know, just the meat sauce. And basically, I, I, you know, I don't eat red meats unless my trainer tells me to. And I, I'm in training, I might eat it once a week. But I'm a healthy guy. Like right now, I'm 218. So I'm never one of those guys who are beast and a gluttony guy who eats everything he sees. So like I said, I'm on point already. So, you know, boxing not just a, a job for me, it's a way of life. It's a way of life. And in, in terms of, uh, that, it's a way of life. It, it's the way you carry yourself throughout the day. I mean, uh, I think that's a common phrase that the boxers under the boxers in the ring, the boxers outside of the ring too, that they're, they're champions outside of the ring as well. And uh, what do you do you think that distinguishes yourself as a champion, uh, as opposed to the typical guy walking on the street, you know? I mean, um, the decisions you make, the people you hang around, I guess they're all different, right? You know, I feel like I'm, I'm um, you know, lead by example, basically, you know, um, I know I have uh, I have kids and I have uh, people that look up to me, so I try to lead by example and, and live my life right and do the right thing, you know, raising my kids and, um, you know, just doing the right thing and, um, and just make, try to make the best decisions. I'm not perfect. Like everybody, you know, we make some bad decisions in life, but, you know, you just got to take with a grain of salt to the movement. But for the most part, I lead by example, whatever I do, and, um, you know, I don't just, you know, teach it, I preach it, and, you know, and I try to keep it, keep it moving. So, I'm a champion outside and inside the ring, just by the way I live my life. Yeah, yeah, you, you seem to be. What do you think, that, what's the personal tip you can give a younger fighter that you do when you're mentally preparing yourself for a fight? Because you're, you're not the biggest heavyweight out there. Usually everyone you fight, especially the last guy you knocked out. I mean, those are some big guys. Right. And the, the element of fear has got to come into play. It comes into play in most, most all boxers. What do you do to mentally prepare yourself to tackle that? Well, basically what I do, I just get in the zone, you know, and um, I think about my opponent. And I think about the things, you know, I don't think it's just about, just about winning. I think about looking good winning. I mean, winning is not everything. It's the only thing for me. You know, and um, I'm in, I'm on a schedule right now, and uh, I got like probably a year to two years to be boxing, and I, I plan on going out on top and retiring from boxing, not letting boxing retire me. So the, the, the best thing I can tell young fighters is to stay focused, don't get distracted, and if you find yourself being distracted, find half of those people around you that's going to tell you, listen, you know, your shit stink, you know, because sometimes you feel like if you're involved, don't fix it, but you just need to keep real people around you, have a good support system of people that know you and know when you need to you get on the right track when you're falling off. So I have a very good support system and I have people that are with me and they don't bullshit me, they tell me the truth. And that's what you need when you're in any business, especially boxing. Awesome. Monty Bear, thank you, man. Thank you for your interview. There's Monty Jr. right there and uh, future world champion. But uh, thanks, man, and uh, we'll be looking for you. All right. Thanks, bro.